Hello, my name is John Hammack, and I'm a developer evangelist for Treasure Data. Today, I'm going to walk you through a short demo. We're going to look at how to capture Amazon Kinesis events in Treasure Data. With innovative companies like Coinbase, Dash, and Supercell all getting on board with Amazon Kinesis for real-time delivery of in-app data, handling billions of events per day, we can imagine why you, too, might want to integrate Kinesis with Treasure Data's analytic pipeline. While FluentD already offers a powerful way of streaming data into Treasure Data, if you're already familiar with Kinesis and Lambda functions as a means of data ingestion, we're going to show you an easy way to integrate them. Amazon Kinesis works very similarly to Apache Kafka and its producer and consumer model, but in our configuration today, we'll make a small exception. We're going to simulate sending events from a producer by simply testing a Lambda function which would otherwise be triggered by events received by Amazon Kinesis. The Lambda function will send our events to Treasure Data. To get started, you'll need a few things. Basic knowledge of Treasure Data. You'll need your Treasure Data Master API key, available from your Treasure Data profile. And you're going to need some basic AWS knowledge, including an AWS account configured with all necessary keys and IM credentials. So let's get started. In our AWS Management Console, we're going to go to Analytics and click Kinesis. Go to Kinesis Streams and we'll create a stream. We're going to call our stream name and we're going to give it one shard and we're going to create. So while it's doing that, let's go back to our AWS console and create our Lambda function. So here we are. We're going to use AWS Lambda as part of our ingestion pipeline. AWS Lambda lets you run code in response to triggers from Amazon Kinesis. So in our AWS management console, we're going to go to Compute, and we're going to click Lambda. We'll click Get Started Now. We're going to select Kinesis Process Record Python. In our screen, we're going to select Kinesis. Actually, it's already selected for us is our event source type. And we're going to select the Kinesis stream that we've previously configured, which is Kinesis Test 1. Batch size of 100 and a starting position of Trim Horizon and click Next. Next, we're going to configure our function. We need to specify our name, our description, and we'll choose Python 2.7 as our runtime. So our name is going to be And in our blog, we have our sample code. I'm just going to paste it in here. Go to our Sublime. Now note, there's a few things you're going to want to specify here. You're going to want to specify your Treasure Data database name, your Treasure Data table name. I have Kinesis and Events, your Treasure Data master API key, and your Treasure Data endpoint. Again, this script will be available on the blog, so you can just download it and, and basically add these three values to it. So let's do this. Let's select, copy it. We're going to paste it in here. Now there's an extra step you need to do, and that is to add the I am function role. So let's do that. We go down to suggested role. We're going to take kinesis execution role, and that's going to pop up a new window. We basically specify our lambda kinesis role, we create a new role policy, and we click allow. And this gives the right for our function to access the stream. So now we click Next. We've selected our blueprint. We've configured our event source. We've configured our function. So let's review our function. We want to enable later, specified our name, our description, our runtime, our handler. Great, let's create the function. So we've successfully configured our function. Now what we can do here is under Actions, we can configure a test event. And this is going to give us a place to enter some JSON that we can use to test our Kinesis stream. So let's do that. And you can also find the code for this in our associated blog. Let's go and select our Lambda JSON here. 
And what this basically does is creates a uh, two records, B2 and B2. Both are encoded in base64. So we're going to go back, we're going to paste this in here. And now we have the possibility to save and test this. So let's test it. And what we should see is our log output being successful, which we see. So that's running. Now let's go to treasure data. If I go to the databases, and I refresh, I should see a database called Kinesis. It's going to take a little bit of time to come in. After one to three minutes, your data should be ingested into treasure data. In this example, we've named our database Kinesis in our table events, and you can now view the database in your treasure data databases window. Lastly, we can go to our query window to query the data. So let's do that. We're going to select the database, and we're going to write a query that says select star from events, and we're going to run it. Since this comes with a record body of field 1, 2, field 2, B, with base 64 encoding, this is what should appear in a select star from events query. Do you want to get the best out of your data analytics infrastructure with a dead simple setup and minimal expense? Then try out Treasure Data. Today we showed you our Amazon Kinesis integration, but our universal data connectors can route almost any data source to almost any data destination. Watch this blog weekly for more of our integrations. Do you want to see a particular integration? Then ask us in the comments. Thank you so much.